Okay guys, we've been getting a ton of emails, questions, uh, actually everybody wondering about Corrado DC. Now Corrado DC has been selling off the charts, but there's been one remaining question and I've explained the settings, I've explained the way it works. But this knob here on traditional bait casters is your spool tension knob and people don't understand how to set up Corrado DC or any DC reel for that matter. So I'm gonna show you something if you come on in. Tip, traditionally, we adjust this to the weight of the lure. So we would tighten it for heavier lures so that we have the same rate of fall. But with DC, you don't do that. What you do with DC is you only tighten it till there's no more play. So you can see here, if I do this, you can see there's a bit of play in the spool. You don't want that. So what you wanna do is just tighten it to the point where that play, and you could feel it clicking, stops. So no matter the actual weight of the lure you're throwing, the trick to setting up a DC reel is to make sure that there is no side-to-side -side play in the spool. And the reason that is is because the way DC charges, there's magnets and coils, and one fits inside the spool. So if the spool has play, it disrupts the power going to charge the microcomputer. So you want to make sure that that spool has no play so it gets an even charge and sends the perfect amount so you're going to get the maximum castability. So once you do that, the same rules apply with DC. Okay? Number four is... If you're going to skip docks, if you've never used a bait caster, it's virtually unbacklashable on number four. Number three we use for fluorocarbon, number two we use for braid, and number one is for hauling it off. And I've got this set on number two for braid, and I got a little Kyera frog, and you can tell when it's set up right, it's going to go a country mile. So that's how you set up a DC reel. No side-to-side -side movement on your spool. Use this knob right here and you want to eliminate it so that there's zero play. That makes sure it's charging properly, that makes sure it performs the best it possibly can. That's it for the Corrado DC setup.